let's do this again. <laughs> this is another problem that is not technically quadratic, but it's what we call quadratic in nature. Now, we did not really mention this last time, but this is, oh my goodness, you got to yawn right by the <laughs> mic. Rude. Now, this is what's, this is how you know something is quadratic in nature. You've got your constant, just like you see with any quadratic equation. Then look at this variable piece right here, this x squared. If the guy in front of him, like this, is its square, then it's quadratic in nature. What would happen if you were to square it x squared? What do you get? You get x to the fourth. So this is what we call quadratic in nature. Now, when it's just written like this as a polynomial, <coughs> it's really easy to solve this guy. And the way that we solved this guy before is that we would factor. Because how do we break up x to the fourth? If it was just x to the fourth, how did we break this guy up? x squared and x squared. x squared and x squared. Break it up very nice and evenly. You would still get x squared in the middle. Everybody was happy. Now, I've got to break this down along with the four. So that here are two and two. Now, let's look at the factors for four. The factors for four are one and four or two and two. This is how we would always factor. If you don't remember how we do the factoring, go back and look at my playlist called factoring. Now I'm going to circle the factors two and two. Why am I doing that? They're even. Or they have Not because they're even, two. but they have a common factor of two, and I would check that common factor against what? The 21. The 21. Does two go into the 21 evenly? No. Nope. Then I will not use that guy. So that means when I break down 4x to the fourth, how must it break down? 4x squared and x squared. That's 4x squared and x squared using the factors of 1 and 4. What do you know about the signs? You have to multiply to get a positive 5, so they must both be negative. Now, 5 is nice and easy because 5 is prime. I just have to figure out if it's 1, 4, excuse me, 1, 5, it's one or 5, 1. Five. If I put the 1 here and the 5 here, that should work out. Check on the inside, you get negative x squared. <laughs> on the outside, you get negative 20x squared. Does that combine to give you negative 21x squared? Possibly. Not possibly, but the answer is... Yes. Since that is the correct answer, I have completely factored this guy. Thank well, you, I haven't completely factored this, but I've factored it as well as I would like to because I'm going to use the zero factor theorem, which tells me that 4x squared minus 1 is equal to 0 or what? X squared. Or x squared minus 5 equals 0. Now, before I go on here, how many solutions am I expecting to have in this problem? Four. four. Why do I expect four? Because it's because this is a polynomial of degree four. I expect four answers. If I don't get four answers, <coughs> then you're not going to get full credit. So when I fix this guy, when I solve this, get x squared by itself, what does x squared equal? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, is wrong. One I add the 1. And I divide by 4. If you need to show step by step that you're doing plus 1, plus 1, and then dividing both sides by 4, you can. I won't. I'm tired of showing these small, itty bitty steps when I don't need to. Mr. Craig, you sound angry today. I'm sorry. I haven't had a good, grumpy Monday in a long time. Except today's. Now! Now! How do I finish solving this guy? Excuse me? Oh, square root property. I thought you said something else. <laughs> I'm going to take the square root of both sides, remembering what? Plus or minus. If you don't remember plus or minus, I won't remember to give you full credit. Oh, oh snap! Okay. So x is equal to plus or minus. How do I simplify the square root of 1 fourth? It becomes 1 half. There are two answers. I feel happy. I'm always happy, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Let's take this other factor, x squared minus 5. Let's solve for him and find solutions. So x squared equals 5. five. Now, how do we get x by itself? SRP. Use the SRP. And in case you don't remember, that stands for square root property. <laughs> 
take the square root of both sides. Plus Don't forget the plus or minus. Then x equals plus or minus square root five. the square root of 5. It doesn't matter if it rhymes. Just listen to the sing-song quality in my voice. If you're having a tough time going to sleep, pull up YouTube on your phone. <laughs> Listen to me and hear my <coughs> voice. I just hope you're not alone. <laughs> How many solutions do you see? Four. I see four staring back at me. If we want to list them all, which is easy to do, I'm going to use the set builder notation. I'll write it like this. Negative one half, positive one half. Negative the square root of five, Positive square root of 5. How many real solutions do I have? I see four real solutions. That means if I were to graph this, I would see, I would see this guy equal to 0 four times. That means it would hit the x-axis four times. It is weird. Let me show you, except for you on YouTube. <laughs> 